What is a supernatural event that happened in your life that just cannot be explained? I don't know if I'd call it supernatural, but it was freaky and I still don't understand. I was in the kitchen cleaning up waiting for my kid's bus. I saw it pull up and saw him get off. He didn't come in, but he'd started playing around with hiding under the window to jump out at me and say boo, so I thought that's what he was doing. But I walked out and he wasn't there. I called his name and looked around the house thinking he was hiding from me, but I couldn't find him. I circled the house calling for him, and the parent panic set in. It probably only lasted 90 seconds but it felt a lot longer. Then his bus pulled up and he got off. I've never encountered another person with the same kind of story as mine. I've looked and looked for years regarding accounts or folklore regarding the ghosts of living people. Here's my story. We were about 13 my best friend and I, she lived in the second story of an apartment building with her mom at the time. After playing indoors, we decided to go outside. As soon as we stepped outside, her in front of me, I said oh it's so cold and I let the door slightly ajar to grab my coat off the couch. Then turning around we ran back outside together. I stopped at the door to put on my coat but she kept running to the end of the balcony where the stairs were that led to an empty parking lot. Trying to be sneaky and scare her, I snuck up behind her as she quietly looked over the railing. When I got about three feet away from her she quickly turned around, smiled and darted around the corner down the stairs. I laughed and chased after her only I thought it was odd, how quickly she got down the stairs and found a place to hide the stairs led to an empty parking lot. She was nowhere to be found. Confused, I circled back up to the stairs on the opposite end of the lot. These stairs were the only other way up to the second floor, and an apartment complex length down the way. As I made my way across, up, and back to her apartment without seeing her, I opened her apartment door in at the same time she was walking back out. Immediately I was thinking WTF, how? I said how did you get back inside so fast? She said, what do you mean I went in right behind you, to get my coat too? She went on to explain that she agreed when I said it was cold and went back in with me to grab a coat from her room. I made her swear on everything sacred to her at the moment, and even periodically until this day besties over 20 years. That it was not her at the top of the stairs that day. I shared this story a few times on Reddit but no one seems to care. I just wish I could show people firsthand how bizarre it really was. There's this place in my hometown called Old Town which is an area they had to evacuate because a mine was there and it made the area unsafe due to sinkholes and whatnot. I was in a class in middle school called Environmental Adventures where you did outdoor stuff and we went to Old Town to do some geocaching. While the class was walking we saw an old lady on a rocking chair on a concrete foundation where a house used to be. She was dressed like an old-timey old lady like Muriel from Courage the Cowardly Dog. She was rocking back and forth, talking to herself while she stared into the woods, not looking at us once. We found the geocache a little down the road, turned around and her and the rocking chair disappeared. There was no way that she could have got away that fast totting a rocking chair without us seeing her. We were only at the geocache for like 5 minutes. Confused everybody. Weirdest cheat ever. I have two. One day about 20 years ago, I came home from work to find my dad dead on the sofa. He was cold to the touch, but I still called 911 and tried to resuscitate him in case there was any chance that I was wrong. My grandparents lived down the street. Their house was always the gathering place. People came for a cup of coffee every day. My dad had suffered some brain injuries a few years prior, but had fully recovered and got sober, so his death was pretty unexpected he was only 48. When the ambulance came roaring down the street, my grandmother said something along the lines of I hope that's not going to my son's house. My uncle was in the kitchen at the time and said, Nah, your son is at the door. He had seen my dad looking for a and the window next to the door. Of course, he was gone by that time. Still gives me chills. 
The other one is not nearly as dramatic. My wife and I live next to a golf course. One morning we were leaving at around 5 a.m. A golf cart with two guys crossed in front of us. Not dangerously close. But, close. We remarked that it was pretty early for people to be out I had never seen anyone out that early in the few years that I had lived there. I looked over to my left, and they were nowhere to be seen. This was a very open parking lot. We stopped and looked back, but no trace of, of any golf cart or anyone in general. My cousin had struggled with depression his whole life, and a few years ago things came to a head. He was 100% convinced the only cure to his depression was suicide, that death was the only thing that would make him truly happy. We were close, so it hit pretty hard. After the funeral, my aunt told us that she had saw a helium-filled smiley face balloon kind of float in front of her, then stop, and it just kinda sat there for a minute. Then it flew up and away, out of sight, on its own. When she told us this we kind of just brushed it off as a coincidence, but it kept happening to her over the next couple weeks. We thought she was just recognizing patterns, until I was at a music festival a few months later and the exact same type of balloon, same color and everything, flowed through my campsite, and did the same thing where it stopped on its own, stared at me, then kind of bobbed and flew up in a way. I'm not really a believer in ghosts and the like but I'm convinced in some shape or form that was my cousin telling us that he was finally happy. Woke up to a weird feeling, and saw an opaque silhouette of a little boy standing on the other side of the apartment facing me. I turned on my light and it was gone, when I turned my light off I saw it again. Flipped the light back on and went over there to make sure there was nothing that could be causing a weird shadow etc. There was nothing there that could have created that specific shape and it was standing in the pathway between my couch and wall so it couldn't have been a shadow. I turned my light off again and it was there, flipped it back on and slept with the light on for the rest of the night. Couldn't sleep without the light on for days low. I had a phase in my mid-teens when I would read the obituaries in the local newspaper. I saw a name that was familiar as it was the same as a family friend. It had his full first, middle, and last names. I didn't say anything to my parents since I figured they already knew. A few days later my mom told me he died and I said I knew since I saw his obit. She said, he died last night in his sleep. I went back through the newspapers my mom kept them for a week before throwing them out but the obit wasn't there. When the real obit came out it had his first and last name but just his middle initial. This was almost 40 years ago and I still think about it. My dad killed my mom when I was 10. I'm now mid 30s. Two years ago I had lost my wedding ring. We looked everywhere. I even played back the security camera at work to see if I was wearing it when I left. I gave up finding it and was very upset. One night I had a dream my mom woke me up and said I know you've been looking for this. I love you. It'll be out here. In the morning I was getting ready for work as usual, sat down on the couch. Right in front of me on the ottoman was my ring. I went to bed after my wife and she woke up after me. I used that ottoman the night before and there's no way the ring could have been there. Again, I checked our camera we had been robbed once so we kept a camera towards the front door, it could see our couch and the ottoman had no ring when I went to bed. I still cry every now and then remembering it. Not a very big one, but here we go. Once when I was 13, I had an incredibly vivid dream. Beautiful colors, sunny skies, anyways, part of the dream there were these two bulls fighting in my house. The fighting was about as scary as a children's book antagonist. I shooed them out and went on my merry way. After waking up, I got ready for school and my mom started driving to town. Out in the distance, I saw two bulls fighting. In the nine years of living there, that's the only time I saw it. I know my story's pretty minor, but I still wonder about it. I used to work at a Boy Scout camp. My personal cabin was the furthest away from the center of the camp. About two miles from everyone else. 
One night I was walking down the trail at 3 a.m. Through the shadows I saw a hand reach out to grab me. I panicked and took out my pocket knife and stabbed at it. Then, silence. That hand was gone. My knife was still in the air. I ran as fast as I could back to my cabin. My buddy and I were playing tennis one night at some courts by my house. Lights usually went out at 11, but for whatever reason that night they went off at a weird time, like 10.43. Whatever, that was weird, we collected our stuff and started walking to my car about 500 feet from the courts. My buddy's mom pulls up right as we're getting to my car and goes where the hell have you been? I called your cell and some guy was just laughing, it didn't sound like you. It was then my buddy realized he didn't have his phone on him. He told his mom to call his cell again and we could see it light up in the middle of the court we were playing on by the net, but still definitely in between the single lines, not at all where we kept the rest of our stuff. He goes and gets it and only has the one missed call from his mom, the one she just made. He asked if she called the right number and her call log showed three calls to his phone all that night. We can't explain why the cell was on the court or what happened with the calls or what happened with the lights. It was surreal. A couple years ago my father's immediate family had a reunion in Minnesota. We stayed at a little cabin on a lake. Of course, sitting around the campfire my uncle was telling us all of his ghost stories which put me just a bit on edge. Later when I went back to my room to go to sleep, I flipped off the light switch, and immediately both closet doors popped fully open. I lost my sheet. Many years ago, my parents had separated and my father was planning on taking a trip across the country to California. He was pretty excited about it. I talk to him the day before he's leaving, wish him well and tell him I'll talk to him after he gets to California. The day of his trip, he calls me and tells me he decided last minute not to go. Refuses to really get into why. Just says he changed his mind. Seemed really odd for something that he had been planning for a couple months. That night I'm sitting at my girlfriend's house and we're watching the news, and they report that US Air Flight 1493, the flight my dad was supposed to be on, collided with another aircraft while landing in Los Angeles. About 25% of the people on the flight were killed. Hard to know how my dad would have made out, because it really depended on where you were sitting front versus back of the plane. It was several months before he finally told me that night before he was supposed to leave, he had an extremely vivid dream that he died in a fiery plane crash. So vivid that it scared him out of flying that day. My dad is a Marine Corps Vietnam veteran who saw combat. I could only imagine how vivid the dream must have been, to scare him out of getting on that plane that morning. 